for tuning in today with On the Table with Braden Brand News, where we talk about celebrities, sports, daily news, hot topics, and here is what's happening with Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez introduces one of her twins with gender neutral pronouns. Now, that means they have no gender. To me, that's what that means. Jennifer Lopez and her child, Emmy Maribel Munez, 14, 14 years old, are being praised for a recent duet, but not because of the music. The pair, who last made headlines for performing together when Lopez co-lined the Super Bowl live Pepsi halftime show in 2020, took the stage recently at the LA Dodgers Blue Diamond Gala. Lopez introduced Emmy using the gender neutral pronouns they and them. So now her name is no longer Emmy, her name is they and them. So uh, do we believe that we have to address her as hi they, hi them, how do you address these kids where they have no gender? How would you address kids that have no gender? Such as uh, Will Smith child, Jake. But now he's going back as Jake. Go figure. This just on the table with Braden Brand News. Now, so this is very a very special occasion. They are very, very busy. Booked and pricey, Lopez went on to say. They cost me when they come out, but they are worth every single penny because they're my favorite duet partner of all time. Emmy then appeared on stage carrying a rainbow microphone to sing Christina shares Emmy and twin brother Max with her ex-husband, singer and actor Mark Anthony. Now, are we to say that now she have a twin brother that's a brother that was a sister? What are we supposed to say? This is just me. This is my opinion. Whatever they do is what they do. What I say is, you have to deal with the repercussions that comes afterward. That's it. Let the kids express themselves. Now, on to other news. It says, no, Paris Hilton and Tom Cruise is not dating. It's a TikTok video with impersonator confuses the fans. Why would you confuse the fans? Paris Hilton is married. Why would we think that she's dating Tom Cruise? Listen, every time we see somebody with somebody, especially a celebrity, do not mean that they are dating. They could be just close friends. They could be some of anything. Now, on to other news for Paris Hilton. She has so many adventures that she's in, you all. So, famous celebrity endorses Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu is a cryptocurrency. But can she save it from this bearish outlook? Paris Hilton, an American celebrity associate and actress, recently expressed interest on cryptocurrencies. Hilton owns Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's cryptocurrencies. And recently demonstrated her interest in the Shiba Inu metaverse. Shiba Inu is a cryptocurrency that's named by a dog. Beautiful dog at that. And it's a hot cryptocurrency that's, that's roaming through the market right now. And I guess she wanna jump on it. She wanna jump on it. Crypto Twitter is speculating about Hilton's endorsement of the Shiba Inu theme meme coin. The debate regarding Hilton's support 
of Shiba New Corn was sparked by a Marcy Jastro's tweet. Jastro is a former top executive from Technicolor who recently joined Shiba New to work on the project's metaverse. Jastro's tweet typically mentioned 1111. Now, why do I like 1111? Because that's my grandson's birthday. 1111. So, anything attached to 1111, I'm going to pay attention to it. I feel like it's a special day. I think it's something good in recognition to what I'm doing. Hilton posted a tweet with the same number and invited followers to make a wish. Now, what do you think that's about? Hilton has dabbled in the crypto ecosystem and digital assets. The, le the celebrity dropped a series of autobiographical non-fungible tokens, NFTs, dubbed Paris, Past Lives, New Beginnings, on the Origin Story Marketplace in early 2022. What do you think? Do you think Paris Hilton is dibby dabbing in the upcoming hottest cryptocurrency that's about to flood the market. I think she already have. Paris look at and uh, projects that's going to make some money. Now, sports news. Okay, so in sports news today, the top 10 NFL wide receivers uh 2022 Raiders Devontae Adams Vikings Justin Jefferson headline pass catchers quarterbacks on the headlines of the NFL but if one position made a play to become the new hot topic in 2022 it was a wide receiver this offseason saw a number of big names change teams and a handful of others cashed in with record contracts and it's no wonder, considering how important a number one pass catcher is in today's game. But which of the NFL's wide receivers are truly the best entering 2022? That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed Brayton Brand on the table news reports. I'll come back to you again soon. Give me your thought, thoughts and comments below. Enjoy.